There's one thing every campaign needs to succeed. No matter the political party, every candidate will rely heavily on the hard work and dedication of their volunteers. No one is too old or too young. All right, well, thanks so much for your time. You have a good one. Elijah Benegas of Las Cruces isn't your ordinary campaign volunteer. Hi, this is Elijah calling from the local Republican headquarters in Las Cruces. Through every phone call, Elijah's learning something new. I don't cons consider making phone calls as work, but it's really actually fun. At 11 years old, not even old enough to vote, Elijah is the youngest campaign worker in town. Maybe even in the state, I'm not sure. All right, and then can I help you find your nearest polling location? Elijah recently started volunteering alongside his big brother. And he's quickly become an important part of the campaign. Oh, one, one time this lady asked, like, you don't sound like a guy, you sound like a little kid. And I was just like, yeah, I'm helping out my brother and making phone calls here. We have a long list, like, I, I have to call a lot of people. I like making phone calls, and then I like, when I take a break, um, I like talking to people and stuff like that. But that's not all he does. Elijah helps sort through pamphlets and gets political signs ready for other volunteers. I just do it because, I don't know, I like helping people out. Campaign leaders say the average volunteer will make about 40 calls in an hour. Elijah makes about 159 calls per hour. Hi, this is Elijah. Um, no speak at English? Uh, no, no message. I'll just call back later. And as a bonus, Elijah gets the chance to meet many of the candidates running for office and other politicians. Actually, I've met Mr. Steve Pierce running for congressman, um, Mr. Harry Teague, and a lot of others. I can't even name them. <laughs> Elijah volunteers right here after school and works through the early evenings when he's not concentrating on homework. For KRWG, I'm Carlos Correa.